Candidates should be able to describe and distinguish the properties of solids, liquids and gases in terms of the arrangement, separation, motion of the particles and intermolecular forces, and represent these states using simple particle diagrams. Know the internal energy of matter, extra knowledge. Describe and know the terms for the changes in states between solids, liquids and gases. Describe the relationship between the motion of particles and temperature, cooling processes and heating processes. Absolute temperature or Kelvin temperature. States of matter. Any matter can exist in one of three states, solid, liquid, or gas. The particles that make up matter can be atoms, molecules, ions, or electrons. Solids. Here is called particle, atom, or molecule. The intermolecular forces between particles in a solid are very strong. This causes the particles to be very close together and arranged in a regular pattern. The particles in a solid vibrate about fixed positions. Solids have a definite shape and a definite volume because its particles cannot flow and are not compressible. Liquids the intermolecular forces between particles in a liquid are slightly weaker than the intermolecular force in a solid. This causes the particles to be close together, but not arranged in a regular pattern. The particles in a liquid can slide past each other. Liquids have no definite shape, but do have a definite volume, because its particles are able to flow to take the shape of a container, but they are not compressible. Gases. The intermolecular forces between particles in a gas are very weak. This causes the particles in a gas to be widely separated. The particles move about randomly at high speeds. Gases have no definite shape and no fixed volume because its particles can flow to take the shape of their container and are highly compressible. Internal energy of matter. Internal energy is the sum of random kinetic energies and potential energies of molecules. Kinetic energy of molecules in matter depend on its temperature. This means that kinetic energies of molecules increase as temperature increase. Therefore, kinetic energy of gases are greater than liquids, and kinetic energy of liquids are greater than solids. Potential energy of molecules in matter depend on the space between molecules. This means that potential energy of molecules increase as the separation between molecules increase. Therefore, potential energy of gases are more than liquids, and potential energy of liquids are more than solids. Change in states of matter. When a solid is changed into a liquid, this process is called melting. Liquid is changed into gas, this process is called boiling or evaporating. Gas is changed into liquid, this process is called condensation. Liquid is changed into solid, this process is called freezing. Gas is changed into solid, this process is called deposition. Solid is changed into gas, this process is called sublimation. Melting processes. The solid at the melting point absorbs thermal energy to break the intermolecular forces and separate the molecules so the potential energy increases. While the temperature is constant at melting point, so kinetic energy of molecules remain constant. Therefore, the internal energy increases when solid is changed into liquid. Boiling processes. The liquid at the boiling point absorbs the thermal energy to break the intermolecular forces and separate the molecules, so the potential energy increases. While the temperature is constant at boiling point, so kinetic energy of molecules remain constant. Therefore, the internal energy increases when liquid is changed into gas. Freezing processes. The liquid at melting point removes the thermal energy to create the intermolecular forces and reduce the separation between molecules, so the potential energy decrease. While the temperature is constant at freezing, so kinetic energy of molecules remain constant. Therefore, the internal energy decrease when liquid is changed into solid. 
Condensing processes. The gas at boiling point removes the thermal energy to create the intermolecular forces and reduce the separation between molecules, so the potential energy decrease. While the temperatures is constant at condensing, so kinetic energy of molecules remain constant. Therefore, the internal energy decrease when gas is changed into liquid. Cooling and heating of matter. Cooling occurs when the temperature of matters decrease, causing the thermal energy is removed from matters. This causes kinetic energy of molecules decrease. While potential energy of molecules remain constant, or a bit decreasing due to compression, because the separation between molecules also remain constant, or a bit decreasing due to compression. Therefore, the internal energy of matters decrease. When the water at initial temperature of 80 Celsius is cooling until equilibrium to the room temperature of 25 Celsius, the resulting show as the graph of temperature in Celsius against time in seconds. The rate of decrease in temperature at the initial is greatest because the high different temperature between the water and surrounding, so more thermal energy loss to surrounding. The rate of decrease in temperature at the final is lowest because the small different temperature between the water and surrounding, so small thermal energy loss to surrounding. Heating processes. Heating occurs when the temperature of matters increase causing the thermal energy is added to the matters. This causes kinetic energy of matters increase. While potential energy of molecules remain constant, or a bit increasing due to expansion, because the separation between molecules also remain constant, or a bit increasing due to expansion. Therefore, the internal energy of matters increase. When the water at initial temperature of 25 Celsius is heated until temperature of 80 Celsius, the resulting show as the graph of temperature in Celsius against time in seconds. The rate of increase in temperature at the initial is greatest because the small different temperature between the water and surrounding, so less thermal energy loss to surrounding. The rate of decrease in temperature at the final is lowest because the more different temperature between the water and surrounding, so more thermal energy loss to surrounding. Absolute temperature. The absolute temperature, or Kelvin temperature, is Kelvin scale. Absolute zero is zero Kelvin, this is equal to minus 273 Celsius. An increase of one Kelvin, is the same change as an increase of 1 Celsius. It is not possible to have a temperature lower than 0 Kelvin. This means a temperature in Kelvin will never have a negative value. The convert between temperatures in the Celsius scale and the Kelvin scale, use the equation. T in Kelvin equals theta in Celsius plus 273. At absolute zero is lowest temperature that particles have no kinetic energy. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, and leave a positive comment. Your support will help me to continue making videos and encourage me to create new content. Thank you.